Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Dr. Tamfeen Salim. Welcome you for the final week lectures, that is week 16. The topic that we will be covering in the two lectures for the week 16 are sleep and sleep disorders. The learning objectives for today's lecture would be that the students would be able to learn what is sleep, what is the association between sleep and health, what are the consequences of sleep deprivation, what are the types and stages of sleep, and what are the sleep-wake disorders. The question is that what is sleep? We all understand that what is sleep, what is the need for sleep, but sometimes we find it difficult to define it. Sleep is a vital health habit, but it is often abused, which further leads to different physical and psychological problems. Sufficient sleep, rest renewal, and relaxation are very much important health behaviors. Many people abuse their sleep intentionally or suffer from insomnia. A variety of behavioral methods that promote relaxation can offset these risks. In addition, setting aside time to savor the pleasant aspects of life and simply taking vacations may have health benefits of it. Or simply putting up, we can say that completing the number of hours of sleep can help us. To define sleep, we may say that it's a condition of body and mind which typically reoccurs for several hours every night in which the nervous system is inactive, the eyes are closed, the postural muscles are relaxed, and the consciousness practically is suspended. There are technically two types of sleep. Rapid eye movement sleep, that is known as REM sleep. It's a kind of sleep that occurs at intervals during the night and is characterized by rapid eye movements. More dreaming and bodily movements and faster pulse and breathing takes place. However, the non-REM sleep is a dreamless sleep. During the non-REM sleep, the brain waves of the EEG recording are typically slow and of high voltage. The breathing and heart rate are slow and regular. The blood pressure is also very low and the sleeper is relatively still. It is also known as quiescent sleep and is collectively sleep stages 1 to 3 that was previously known as stages 1 to 4. The rapid eye movement is not at all included, that is why no dreaming takes place. Here it defines the stages of sleep, that is uh, non-REM stage 1, that is transition between wakefulness and sleep, that lasts around 10, uh, 5 to 10 minutes before a person actually falls asleep. Then non-REM stage 2, in which the body temperature drops and heart rate begins to slow. And brain begins to produce sleep spindles. And lasts, it lasts approximately about 20 minutes. Non-REM stage 3, in which the muscles are relaxed, blood pressure and breathing rate starts decreasing or dropping down, and deeper sleep occurs. And the fourth stage is REM sleep. The brain becomes more active, body becomes more relaxed and immobilized, dreaming occurs, and there is rapid eye movement that takes place. This is just another <coughs> picture to show you that how sleep cycle takes place. Brain, <coughs> brain wave activity varies from uh, first stage to the fourth stage. There are uh, machines that are available which help in recording these waves. Generally, we use EEG in order to record the, the brain waves during the sleep. There are different kinds of frequency and amplitude of these waves. For example, when a person is awake, the frequency in hertz is 15 to 50 and the amplitude microvolt is less than 50. In stage 1, that is non-REM uh, stage and uh, the wave is called alpha wave, the frequency is 4 to 8 and the amplitude is 50 to 100. At stage 2, there is um, theta wave uh, there is uh, sleep spindles that are coming. There are K-complexes 
and the frequency hertz is 4 to 15 and the amplitude is 50 to 150. At stage 3, the brain wave is called delta wave. The frequency per hertz is uh, 1 to 4 and the amplitude is 100 to 200. However, the fourth stage that is REM sleep, REM stage, the frequency per hertz is 15 to 30. That is quite similar to when a person is awake, that is 15 to 50. And the amplitude is also less than 50, which is again similar to when a person is awake. The graphic uh, representation that is in the slide, it indicates the rapid eye movement that occur can be seen as sharp rapid movements. The brain waves, brain waves during this REM sleep are considered to be of low amplitude and mixed frequency consistence with higher activity in comparison to stage 2 and stage 3. A person is able to see 4 to 6 uh, dreams in a night. However, it varies that a uh, few people remember their dreams and few people do not remember their dreams. That sleep is vital for health, so there is strong connectivity in sleep hygiene and health of the person. However, many people uh, sometimes deprive themselves of sleep in order to keep up with their demands of daily living, which may be the students, which may be the workers, professionals, but sleep is an important restorative activity. And if it is not taken, so the body will not be restored and the person would not be able to uh, perform the activities which are required. 39% of the adults sleep less than seven hours at night and specifically on the weeknights. One third of adults experience sleep problems that is sometimes difficulty in sleep, insomnia, middle insomnia and so on. 54% of the people over the age of 55 report insomnia at least once a week. So as a um, person ages, there are more and more chances of sleep problems. For women, sleep disorders may be tied to hormonal levels related to menopause. This chart shows the sleep requirements as provided by National Sleep Foundation throughout the lifespan of an individual from infancy to older adult. There are multiple consequences of sleeplessness. When a person deprives himself of the insufficient sleep that is less than seven hours a night, it may have influence on the cognitive functioning of the person, uh, mood of the person, as well as vigor and performance at work, as well as the overall quality of life. Chronic insomnia can compromise the ability to secrete and respond insulin. It can increase the risk of coronary heart disease. It can reduce the efficacy of flu shots. It is tied to adverse immune changes, including chronic inflammation. There are also chances of having automobile accidents because when the person has not taken enough sleep, the person uh, cognition and alertness is not there. Sleep disturbances also predict mortality over the next 4 to 19 years of life. Children who do not get enough sleep may show behavioral problems as well, irritability in the mood and uh, fights and so on. There are multiple reasons that why people cannot sleep. Sometimes when people have stressful events uh, or they are experiencing low states of mood or depression, they are unable to sleep. Those who are experiencing stressors to work or hostility or arousal, those who have maladaptive coping strategies to cope with stress or those who continuously ruminate on the causes of their stress, they are unable to maintain their sleep. According to DSM-5, sleep-wake disorders encompass 10 conditions manifested by disturbed sleep and causing distress as well as impairment in the daily functioning, specifically in daytime functioning. Insomnia is a significant difficulty in initiating or maintaining sleep. It's a predominant complaint of dissatisfaction with sleep, quantity or quality associated with one or more of symptoms like difficulty initiating sleep, difficulty maintaining sleep, early morning awakening, 
Sleep complaint is accompanied by significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, and other uh, areas of life, like academic area. Uh, it occurs at least three nights per week and is uh, present for at least three months. Sleep problems exist despite adequate opportunity and circumstances are available for sleep. It can be primary or it can be secondary. However, there is much of overlap that there may be some kind of medical reason or there may be some kind of psychological or environmental reasons. Hypersomnolence is manifested as extreme daytime sleepiness or excessive nighttime sleep that is called hypersomnia. That is frequently unrefreshing. That is no matter how long the individual sleeps, the individual is not refreshed after taking the sleep. However, there may be uh, dozing off during the day that may happen frequently providing no relief or sometimes very little relief. There may also be signs of depression and underlying metabolic and physical factors. There may be some other symptoms like headache, loss of appetite, irritability, memory loss, cognitive impairment, uh, sometimes low-grade fevers. Some other symptoms include uh, difficulty in initiating and maintaining sleep, experiencing a type of sleep later described as an unsatisfactory and snoring. Generally, it has to be present for at least three months. Determining factors are whether or not the condition is primary or secondary to another underlying cause. Narcolepsy is a sleep disorder that is characterized by excessive sleepiness, sleep paralysis, hallucination and in some cases episodes of cataplexy that is partial or total loss of muscle control that is often triggered by strong emotions such as laughter. This has to occur for at least three times per week over the past three months.